Hi, in this video, we're going to look at the sequence n factorial over n to the n, and we're going to find the limit of the sequence. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So we're looking for the limit as n approaches infinity of n factorial over n to the n. And we're going to do this just using our intuition. We're not going to give a proof or anything. I'm just going to talk about why the answer is what it is intuitively. So let's rewrite this as the limit as n goes to infinity. And let's think about what n factorial is. n factorial is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times dot 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 times 3, 2, 1. And then n to the n, well, it's just n times n times n times n, so it'll be n times n times n times dot 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 times n times n times n. So you can clearly see that the expression on the bottom, n to the n, is growing much faster than n factorial because there's an n everywhere, and in n factorial, there's only an n up here uh, in the first term. So this limit is going to be zero. And that's it. So the key point you should take away from this video is that for n big enough, n to the n is bigger than n factorial for n sufficiently large. So it will grow faster than n factorial. And that's really important. So n to the n grows faster than n factorial. That's the key. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world who is learning about sequences. Good luck.